So Marshall just released their new will and speaker, which I'll admit is a lot better sounding than I expected, but it's also a little bit on the expensive side, considering it's such a small speaker versus something like the JBL Go 3, which is about a third of the price. But just wait till the audio test in this video, and I think you're gonna be surprised at just how good this little JBL speaker is. <laughs> As you can see, the size of these two are pretty similar, nice and small. The Marshall is a tad bigger. Both have really nice build quality though. A little bit more rubberized material around the sides of the Marshall speaker. Both feel really durable and feel like you could toss these across the room without damaging either one. One big difference is going to be how these speakers are controlled. You've got the familiar silicone buttons there on the JBL speaker. They're nice and durable, easy to use, but the metal control knob on the Marshall Willen is an all-in-one, do everything you need, pushing it left and right to go to the next or previous track, push it up and down for volume volume, push it in and hold to power on and off the speaker. I sort of like the approach by Marshall just a little bit more, but both actually do a nice job of making these speakers easy to use and easy to pair through Bluetooth. You're also going to get better battery life on the Marshall Willen at about 15 hours versus only 5 hours on the JBL Go 3. The Marshall Willen is also going to be a little bit louder, going up to 82 decibels versus 75 on the JBL Go 3. Uh, but to me, the most interesting part between these two is how the speakers sound compared to each other. Just listen to these clips and hopefully you can tell that even though the Marshall speaker sounds slightly better, the JBL Go 3 sounds really good for such a small speaker and at a fraction of the price. So yeah, overall I feel the Marshall speaker sounds a little bit better, even though I would prefer just a little bit more bass. And as long as you're on the default equalizer settings in the app, it sounds really good. The other two settings, not so great. And I don't know if you can tell from these audio samples, but the JBL speaker sounds crazy good for the size. And of course, depending on how you're gonna be using these or what's more important to you, just considering how much cheaper the JBL speaker is, for me, it's just a way better value than the new Marshall Willen. <laughs> Tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Time's just like a test If only I could go back in time I tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself Figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid Always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds People can change your life
Feel the Marshall speaker sounds a little bit better, even though I would prefer a tad bit more bass. And as long as you have it on the default equalizer settings in the app, the other two really don't sound that great to me in my opinion. I don't know if you can tell from these audio samples, the JBL speaker sounds really good for this size. And considering how much cheaper it is, I feel like you just get a lot better value with the JBL over the Marshall Willen. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.